We are quite a small school by British standards. We've got 450 3 to 18 um, and we have a large number of overseas boarders in the senior school. We are a school that has always been non-selective. We cater for the range of pupils that are in our hinterland. A few years ago leapt into the cloud enthusiastically and we're a Google school so we, we do everything we possibly can on Google. Um, we share documents with each other, we use Google Forms, we've got a Google message board, you name it, we use Google. The beautiful thing about Google is that it's device agnostic so they can bring in whatever they like and it will work. We are trying to push a BYOD policy, um, so encouraging students to bring their own devices, which basically means that they're more used to working on them. So there's lots and lots of collaboration going on in class and that's something we really, really encourage right the way through the school. The teachers use a programme called Google Classroom to set homework and it's good for a few reasons really. First off, the students basically log in with their Google account and they get essentially a portal of all the homework that's been assigned to them from which lesson it's been assigned, when it's due, all the stuff that you'd normally have in a homework diary. We came across Read and Write with one of our SEND teachers who had come across it on the internet and asked me to set up a trial for them. So we ran through that and he was really impressed with all the features and everything. He got in touch to place the order. First of all, it's a site-wide license. Um, but we have two different options for deployment. So we have the desktop version, which has fully featured. Um, it's great for the internal school computers. Um, all the staff have access, all the students have access as well. But we also have the Google Chrome extension which because all the students already have a Google Chrome account, all they have to do is sign in at home and it automatically installs their Chrome account at home. I use my Chromebook a lot in lessons, but I use them in as many subjects as I can. And he was talking earlier about his trick of using speech to text and just turning that on during the lesson so that he can capture parts of what a teacher has said more rapidly than he could by hand, which I've not heard before and I think that's a fantastic idea. So they're quite accepting of him having his Chromebook out regularly in class. And they know that his use of that is part of what will get him extra allowances and special considerations when he gets to his external exams. Because it's a natural part of his everyday practice. And because you can see that that helps to improve his attainment. This morning I had an upper sixth class with me and one of the pupils in that class, his written work sounds jarring. I suggested to him that he read it out and then I said, oh, there's a little thing that we can use for that. And we clicked on the read-write uh, icon, we were using the Chrome version, and it read it out. His eyes lit up, it looked like something he could put to use. We wanted to find a resource which we could support all of our pupils, not just those that are learning support. And uh, one of our philosophies is that Good learning support is just very good teaching. 